Three very mysterious shiny lights over Breckenridge have police and residents puzzled. Just before noon today, law enforcement agencies started getting reports of UFOs. Nine News Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Renew is joining us from Breckenridge. And Matt, many people saw these objects today, including yourself. You bet, Mark. It has been the talk of the town around Breckenridge all day. Even if you now here at 5 o'clock, I'm about the only person willing to get in front of a camera and talk about the UFOs that were flying overhead. There was three white dots, I'll show you, that were flying over a Breckenridge behind me late this morning. Looked as if they were hovering right over Baldy Mountain behind me. And while no one from the Breckenridge Police Department or Sheriff's Departments wanted to talk about the objects on camera, several people at those organizations saw them and others around town reported the strange things flying over the skies of Breckenridge, sending police out to investigate these shiny white tiny dots in the sky. Some people off camera said they saw them form triangles and a line. On our camera, it seemed as if they didn't move at all. In fact, it took some help for most people to even see them. Very top of the trees, and then just go to the left in the blue sky. There's all those kind of wispy clouds. Yeah. There's a white dot right in the, 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 near the edge of those wispy clouds. Just to the left of the second pine tree, there's a white dot. The FAA didn't have a comment on what these dots could be, nor had said they're not tracking any abnormalities at this time. But yesterday, a TV station in Utah reported very similar white dots appearing in the sky over Utah. The objects were visible for about three hours. They showed up best when the sun was reflecting off of them. Mark, we also called the Strategic Command as well, U.S. Strategic Command. They said they aren't tracking anything, but they typically track those objects that come in from outer space and then enter orbit. They believe whatever these were were probably below their range of tracking. And not drones, you don't think, Matt? I don't think they were drones. And the folks that I talked to said they didn't look like weather balloons because at, time, at times they would just sit there for five or six minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes without moving an inch on our view screen in the camera and then you would see a flash of light and they would they would take off across the edge of the mountain ridge behind me so it didn't appear to be drones it didn't appear to be weather balloons truly unidentified flying objects in the skies over Breckenridge today tonight we have never before seen videotape of UFOs over Colorado three tapes shot by different people at different times in different places but all look similar do they show something mysterious or something mundane Fox 31's Kim Posey asks that you decide for yourself what the hell is that Whatever this is, it's enough to get Don Baumgartner's attention. Oh, it's getting closer. Trying to get me. The 33-year-old shot this video in September outside his home in Deer Trail, Colorado, east of Denver. He says he woke up because his dogs were acting strangely, and there was a blue light coming through the window. There it is again. Baumgartner gave the video to investigators at the Colorado Mutual UFO Network. It was clearly not a, an aircraft, a conventional aircraft of any kind. Ethan Rich says he's intrigued. The pulsing ball of light seems to have a flattened top and bottom and an object inside. It, it does display virtually every color of the spectrum as it, it's uh, uh, strobing. I was driving home from a friend's house after an evening out about 11.30. And on my way home on the county roads, I thought somebody was following directly behind me, like, too closely. So I pulled over to let them pass me. No one came. I could smell static electricity, but there was no light. So then I get home, and I go in, and I grab the camera, and I just start recording. And I see 15 UFOs, like, hovering above the lamp. And then um, I see what I believe to be a demon appear before me. My heart was racing, and I felt like I couldn't breathe. I didn't even realize what I got on camera until the next day when I reviewed the tape. There's a lot of sightings and there's a lot of stories about um, a UFO activity out here. So now I'm going to fast forward to the first part, which I actually took the footage of the alien first. So like here's me during the day, so I don't know if you want to, because I'm going to have you make copies of this. But um, as you can show, like during the day, that's where they were, is like right here above the land. Okay, so I'm walking around trying to take video of, of the half-shell UFOs. Okay, that's where they were, is like right here above the land. So the lady at MUFON is the one who told me these are light rods. I call them light worms. <laughs> 